Heart, Lungs, and Exercise, produced by Three Treasures Studio. Homeostasis is a critical concept to understanding exercise physiology. Homeostasis is the balancing of systems. Every system in the body, whether it be the internal organs, the respiratory system, the circulatory system, or the muscular system, all have needs. The balancing of those needs with the rest of the body is called homeostasis. Looking at what happens in the body during exercise is a great way of understanding homeostasis. In this case we will look at the body's ability to manage oxygen and carbon dioxide levels as we go from a state of rest to a state of exercise and back again to a state of rest. While at rest the body has all the systems in balance. The output of the heart and lungs keeps oxygen and carbon dioxide levels in balance while there is little demand from the skeletal muscles. When we begin to exercise, our skeletal muscles increase their demand for oxygen that is required for energy. The muscles also burn more glucose. The increased energy consumption produces more metabolic waste like lactic acid and carbon dioxide. In response to an increased demand for oxygen and an increased production of carbon dioxide, the heart and respiratory rates increase. When we are within our exercise tolerance, our bodies receive enough O2, remove enough CO2, and the muscles are able to function efficiently. If our level of exercise increases beyond our exercise tolerance, the demand of the muscles can be more than the body can sustain. The body will increase heart and respiratory rates as much as possible, but the O2 levels will not meet the demand of the muscles. At this stage, there is an increased production of metabolic waste like carbon dioxide and lactic acid. This can occur during very short but extreme moments of exertion, like when lifting a car, or whenever the body is exercising but not receiving enough oxygen to the muscles. When exercise or exertion is over, the demand of the skeletal muscles decreases. Production of CO2 and other metabolic wastes also drops. Shortly thereafter, the heart and respiratory rates begin to fall, and with it, the intake of oxygen. The heart and respiratory rates will remain slightly elevated for a short time as they remove excess metabolic waste still remaining in the blood, while also replenishing stores of oxygen to the mitochondria of the muscle cells. This time of slowly returning to a resting heart rate after exercise is important for removing lactic acid, which contributes to muscle soreness, and for gently bringing the heart back to a resting rate. After exercise, the body returns to a resting heart and respiratory rate, O2 and CO2 levels are once again in balance, and the skeletal muscles are at rest. Exercise on a daily or weekly basis will increase your exercise tolerance, and these systems will become more efficient. This not only improves performance, but also improves how these systems function in daily life. 